With more than a million known species of insect on Earth, they represent the most varied group within the animal kingdom. Coming in all different shapes and sizes, each species of insect is adapted to its particular environment in a way that allows them to survive and thrive. But today, we'll be taking a look at some seriously hairy adaptations. Here are the top 15 most hairy insects. Number 15. Velvet Ants The name Velvet Ant covers more than 7,000 different species of wasps. While the males look like what you'd expect from a wasp, the females are very different. With no wings and covered in a thick coat of hair, they crawl around in the ground and are often easily mistaken for ants. Typically growing to no more than an inch or a few centimeters long, they're found in most places around the world, more than 450 different species in North America alone. They can be a wide variety of colors, from oranges and purples to whites, silver, or gold. And as often the case in the animal kingdom, these vivid hues are intended as a warning to any potential predators. Velvet ants aren't particularly aggressive, but when they feel cornered, they'll use their sting as a last resort. It's known for being extremely painful, with symptoms lasting for as long as 30 minutes, which in most cases is plenty of time for the insects to then escape. It's for this reason that they're also known as cow killers, because it's not too uncommon for them to deliver a sting when they're surrounded by a herd. And if a single cow is unfortunate enough to be stung by several individuals at once, the sheer shock can be enough to kill them. Number 14. Flannel Moth Flannel moths can be found throughout the Americas, particularly in tropical regions, and while in their adult form they have an unusually furry covering, it's their larval stage caterpillars that have become most notorious. Known as puss caterpillars, apparently because of the way they resemble domesticated cats, the insects are covered with long hairy structures that look like balls of fluff or cotton, almost like their miniature toupees. At first, you might think that this makes them look cute, but if you ever see one of these in the wild, the best advice is to stay well clear of them. That's because they're also the most venomous type of caterpillar that you can find in the U.S., and the hair strands conceal toxic spines that, if you touch them, will pierce your skin and inject a powerful toxin. It'll immediately start to feel like a bee sting, but significantly worse, and the pain will radiate around the puncture point until it seems as if it's emanating from the bone beneath. Some people who have been stung on the hand have reported symptoms as far up as their shoulder, and this often lasts for as long as 12 hours before beginning to dissipate. In the wild, this acts as a very effective defense mechanism, because after experiencing this one, no animal is going to risk trying to eat another caterpillar like it. It's one of the reasons why flannel moths are able to breed so well, and as the climate begins to warm up, they're increasingly able to spread into new regions. Number 13. Hairy-Footed Flower Bee Hairy-footed flower bees are a species of bee that's native to areas across Europe, Asia, and North Africa, and have, in the past century, been purposefully introduced elsewhere into the world, such as North America. Normally found in woodlands, coastal regions, and anywhere with a variety of wild flowers, they typically grow to around half an inch or one and a half centimeters long, which is the perfect size for landing on the small petals of newly emerged flowers. These aren't a honey-producing species of bee, though, and instead of building colonies, they're fairly solitary. Instead, females will make small nests in mud or clay, where they build cells that are filled with pollen and nectar before laying an egg in each one. This life cycle means they spend their time collecting as much pollen as other bees, though. And if you look closely enough, you'll see why they have their name. Each one has a tuft of hair going on each foot, which is one of the only ways it's possible to accurately identify them. The rest of their bodies are hairy, too, and will often be a mixture of black or dark brown hairs, along with brighter ones such as red, orange, or yellow. Number 12. House Centipede It's thought that there are as many as 8,000 species of centipede around the world, of which just 3,000 have been so far discovered. And while they come in a wide range of different shapes and sizes, the ones that most often cause the most frights, mainly because they're encountered most often, are house centipedes native to regions around the Mediterranean, but having since spread around the rest of the world. The insects typically grow to a length of just one and a half inches, or four centimeters. They do, however, have as many as 15 pairs of long legs that are attached to the body, as well as antennae that not only give the illusion that the animals are much larger than they actually are, but also means they're often mistaken for being extremely hairy. The structure of their legs means that they're able to move surprisingly fast, at up to 1.3 feet or 0.4 meters per second, and they'll happily move along floors, walls, and ceilings. 
This is a species that thrives in household environments, and while you may want to get rid of any you see, you might find they're actually doing you a favor. That's because they're insectivores, and actively hunt spiders, cockroaches, bedbugs, ants, and virtually any other insects that you find in your home. They do have a venom that they use to capture their prey, but it poses no risk to humans whatsoever, and at worst, it would feel like a bee sting. Number 11. Monkey Slug Caterpillar the hag moth is a relatively uninteresting species of moth that's native to North America and some other temperate regions around the world, but what it lacks in adulthood, it more than makes up for in its larval stage. Quite simply, it has one of the most unusual caterpillars of all, which, because of the way they look, are often called monkey slugs. Thought to have developed in a way designed to mimic the shed skin of a hairy spider, these larvae grow to around an inch or a few centimeters long and have nine pairs of curled projections, which are each covered in dense patches of hair. What's amazing, though, is that these growths are merely a protective barrier for the caterpillar, and it's only when you turn one upside down that you actually see the larva itself. The arms of this shield can therefore fall off without causing any damage to the caterpillar at all, and it's quite common to see ones without all of their appendages after they've been attacked by a hungry bird. Monkey slugs gather all the nutrition they need to turn into adults by feeding on trees like apple, ash, birch, and cherry, and this means that they're most commonly seen in orchards, where they can cause severe damage if they're present in large enough numbers. If you see one, it's not the best idea to pick it up to move it elsewhere, because as well as the hairy covering, they're also able to sting, which won't be fatal, but can certainly be extremely unpleasant. Number 10. Bee Flies the animal kingdom is full of examples of mimicry, where one creature takes on the physical appearance of another in the hope that it will deter potential predators, and one of the most common is a family of insects called the bee fly. Ranging in size with a wingspan from between a small fraction of an inch to two inches or five centimeters, there are at least 4,500 different known species, although it's believed there are many more that are yet to be identified. While they are technically flies and aren't related to bees at all, Bee flies look and behave in a surprisingly similar way to the insects that they're imitating. They are usually covered with furry hairs and the same color patterns as you'd expect from bees, and they even feed on the nectar and pollen of flowers, with some species being important pollinators too. What they don't have, though, is a sting, which means they aren't able to protect themselves in the same way that bees can. But the hope is that it will never come to the point where they need one anyway, because most other animals avoid bees just in case they get on the wrong end of one. Number 9. Carpet Beetle Carpet beetles are a type of insect that's found all over the world, usually, as the name would imply, within the carpets and upholstery of buildings. Seen as an extremely annoying pest, they can cause severe damage to the environments where they live, and will soon leave streaks in carpets as they start to devour the fabric. The problem, though, is that if you see an adult carpet beetle, there's a high probability that there are also larval ones, too, and they can be far more difficult to spot and even more destructive. That's because when in this stage they measure just a fifth of an inch or five millimeters long and are covered in a dense layer of hair. This helps them to blend in with their surroundings when they're nestling in fabric and gives them the perfect way to eat the keratin and chitin that's present in natural fibers. Eggs will normally be laid in dark, quiet places like vents and from there the larva can spread all throughout the house. Carpet beetle larvae have been found to have eaten through clothes, blankets, furnitures, and furs, and even have been known to find their way into musical instruments that have been stored away for a long time and begun to eat through the pads and felt. Number 8. Banded Woolly Bear Caterpillar The Isabella tiger moth is a species that's endemic to the U.S. and parts of Canada, where they can survive in a wide range of climates and are identifiable by that dark orange coloration. It's their larval form that's the most spectacular, though, as the black and orange insects are covered in brown and black hairs, and as a result are known as the banded woolly bear caterpillar. Made up of 13 segments, they have noticeable bands of different colored hairs which, when under direct sunlight, start to look like they're dark red. Unusually for hairy caterpillars, these ones don't have any venom, nor are the hairs urticant, and they normally don't cause the same types of skin irritation that other species do. Instead, when they feel at risk, they simply curl up in a ball and pretend to be dead until the threat is passed. There is one strange ability that the caterpillars have, however, and this is why the species is able to thrive in frozen environments. When the temperature plunges, they freeze solid. Their hearts stop beating, their gut freezes, and so does the blood, and their body tissue starts producing a type of antifreeze that allows them to remain in stasis until it warms up again. Number 7. Tree Wasp 
tree wasps are a highly organized species of wasp that live in regions across Eurasia and China. Even though they're referred to as tree wasps, they actually build their nests in a range of different places, including in branches, underground, and in buildings. Generally grown to just over a half an inch or about one and a half centimeters long, they have recognizable yellow and black stripes on their abdomens, slightly brownish wings, and a covering of long hairs on the thorax. They are not a very aggressive species of wasp, tending to prefer to avoid confrontation at all costs, and even though they may build paper nests against houses, they rarely venture close to human activity because they have no interest in the food that we leave behind. Instead, they forage for dead wood that's used to further build the nest, insects like flies, and pollen from flowers. Tree wasps live in a highly organized society, even compared to other wasp species, with everything being focused around the queen. At first, she'll be responsible for building the nest, but once the first workers are born, she'll stay there for the rest of the year and rely on the meals to provide everything that the colony needs. Studies have shown that conflict often arises between workers within the same nest, but this is often resolved, usually when the queen eats the eggs of the workers that are causing problems. Number 6. Horsehair Worms Most species of worms have fine, hair-like structures that help them to burrow through the ground, but probably the hairiest species of worms is the nematomorpha, not because they're covered in hairs, but because each individual looks like just one long strand of horsehair capable of growing to anywhere between 2 inches or 5 centimeters to 6.5 feet or 2 meters in length. They're found all over the world and tend to thrive in damp places like pools, streams, and water troughs. When in their larval stage, they live on animals such as beetles or cockroaches, and some species are able to infect the brains of the creature they're living on, which causes the host to drown itself so the worm can be released into the body of water. When the males and females mate, they tie up around each other in a way that looks even more like a clump of hair, and in some cases can accidentally tie each other into knots, and they can become stuck like this for the rest of their lives. Currently, there are 351 different freshwater species that we know about. Their prevalence in standing water along with the difference in size mean that researchers believe there could be as many as a further 2,000 that are still to be discovered. Number 5. Nymph Researchers are continually exploring the world to try to find new species, but quite often they find things that they don't know how to even begin thinking about classifying. That's what's happened in 2013 when a team was working in the rainforests in Suriname in South Africa and found this remarkable insect. Unlike anything that's ever been described by science before, the insect, which was a fifth of an inch long, is thought to be a nymph, which is an immature form of the adult insect. Golden in color, it has an unusually elongated body that's covered in orange dots and stripes. But the most surprising thing, of course, was the plumage growing from its rear end. Looking like a big bundle of hair, the iridescent growth is actually believed to be continually produced in a specialized gland in the abdomen, and it's made out of wax. As for the purpose of this, researchers have currently two ideas. The first is that it will help slow the insect down if it falls from a height and the second is that it'll be distracting to any predator that, if it decided to attack, would likely only end up with a mouthful of wax. Number 4. American Dagger Moth Caterpillar First described by science in 1841, the American Dagger Moth is a species of gray and brown moth that's only found in North America around the Rocky Mountains. The moths themselves are rather dull in color, but this allows them to perfectly blend in with the trunks of the trees in the regions where they like to live and hide from predators. But for caterpillars, an alternative defensive mechanism is needed. Growing to a maximum length of around 2 inches, or 5 centimeters, the larval American dagger moths are densely covered in yellow or white setae. Along their bodies, there are also occasionally a series of black hairs that are longer than the yellow ones, and towards the rear, there's an entire segment that only grows black hairs. It's thought that the yellow hairs are meant to act as a deterrent to anything that might want to eat them, while the black hairs are part of the way that the caterpillar feels its way through the undergrowth in search of food of its own. This may all be a grand case of deception, however, because there's no known evidence to suggest that these caterpillars actually contain any poison or venom at all. Instead, they're hoping the predators have already learned that bright colors often mean the presence of toxins and aren't willing to take the risk to find out if that's the case with these ones. Number 3. Mormotamaya hirsuta. There are a number of examples where a species of insect has adapted in such a specific way that they only live in a very small area. But there's perhaps none as bizarre as the Mormotamaya hirsuta, commonly known as the terrible hairy fly. An expedition went searching for one in 2010 and made the first sighting of the insect since 1948. 
growing to around a third of an inch or about a centimeter long. The researchers who found it said that in real life it looked much more like a spider with hairy legs than a fly. Despite being a species of fly, their wings aren't actually functional, and instead they're left to crawl around rocks and breed in bat feces. Its inability to fly, along with the lack of any clear evolutionary advantages, have led scientists to believe that the species is only present in a very contained area of several rocks within a few feet or meters of each other in Kenya. Since there's a bat population nearby, it's likely that they'll have all that they need to survive there, and since humans haven't destroyed the habitat yet, they've had no reason to find a way to move somewhere else. Number 2. Goliath Bird Eater Spider There are at least 45,000 different known species of spider around the world, from ones that are microscopic to those that are significantly larger and have potent toxins. But the biggest of them all, and by far the hairiest, is the Goliath Bird Eater Spider, which is native to jungle regions throughout South America. It's a species of tarantula that can have a body length of up to 5.1 inches or about 13 centimeters long, and weighs as much as 6 ounces or 175 grams. When you take their legs into account, though, they can be as much as 11 inches across, which means they're a significant presence on the forest floor if you ever come face to face with one. As with all tarantulas, goliath bird eaters are covered with hairs. And these aren't just to help regulate their body temperature, but also a means of defense against predators. To begin with, when faced with a threat, they'll start rubbing some of these hairs on their legs together to make a warning sound. But if this doesn't work, they're able to release hairs into the air that can be immediately harmful to the respiratory system. Of course, if this isn't successful to fend off any potential attacker, they have their final means of defense, their fangs, which can be used to inject venom which is said to be of equal strength to that of a wasp. Despite being an animal you need to be wary of in the rainforest, goliath bird eaters are also a delicacy in some communities that live there. They insert sticks into the spiders before holding them over a fire so all of the hairs burn away, after which they're said to taste similar to shrimp. Number 1. Spotted Apatelides Caterpillar The spotted Apatelides moth is a species that's native across the eastern U.S., from Maine and Ontario to Florida, Missouri, and Texas, and are identifiable by their brown and black patterning, translucent spots, and reddish wings. They're far more colorful and interesting when they're caterpillars, though, and if you're in the right place at the right time, they're impossible to miss. Growing to just an inch or a few centimeters long, they're covered in white hairs when they're young, which turn to a neon color as they get older. They have black lashes that project from behind their heads and on certain other segments along their bodies and intermittent V-shaped black chevrons along their sides. These caterpillars spend their entire lives on the trees where they were born, usually ash, oak, or maple, and rely on mimicry to keep safe from predators. They have no poison or venom in which to defend themselves and simply hope that anything thinking of eating them will have had a previously bad experience with a caterpillar that's similarly brightly colored. They aren't believed to pose any threat to humans at all, but if you do see one, it's best to leave it where it is just in case you have an allergic reaction to any of their hairs. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.